In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, in extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Okay, now watch this. I'm watching. Body blocks turn into body tiles. Wow. And watch them move. It's like they're dancing. Yeah, and they love making patterns. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. And another pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do another. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's really great, six. And one last thing. Watch me fly those buddy tiles. Huh. Great. Woo hee yeah! I've Way. got to get my buddy block to do that. No time now, though. Let's go. having trouble with the cover on her bed. On the screen. It looks all right at the moment. But look. Oh, that's one to keep her warm at night. And now it's covering far too much. Can you send someone? Yes, I can. Thank you. I can send... Me! Six is going out. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem me to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> Ready for lunch, and I'm scanning the room. And it's all clear. Here we go then. Looking for a six. Not many sixes around today. But there's one. Got a six. Way! Huh. Okay, let's get going. Oh dear, more problems. Agent 37 here. There's a problem at the school. On screen. Right, let's see what's happening here. That will keep the paint off the table. But watch now. That's no good. That's hardly covering anything. Now it's getting bigger again. Back to normal. It won't be for long. Plenty now. It's causing a lot of 
trouble. She's not happy at all. Who could be doing this? <laughs> I know that laugh. <laughs> the puzzler. We know all about him. Solve the puzzle out, the puzzle will solve you. Puzzler! Well, hello there, number six. Here's a problem for you to fix. I'm making things go big or small. They cover too much or not much at all. <laughs> We've got a problem. Yes, with the puzzler, anything could happen. If you had a lid on a box, it might get much too small or much too huge. Or you might put a stamp on a postcard and the stamp becomes so small the postman wouldn't see it. Or so big the postman couldn't carry it. Or you might be sticking a sticker in a book and the sticker gets tiny. Or it gets so huge it sticks you to the book. <laughs> Puzzler has got to be stopped. Six is on his way. Puzzler, you've got to stop changing the size of things. I will agree to your request if you can pass my little test. <laughs> Two sheets of paper. What's your call? Which one's bigger? Which one's small? That's easy. You can see which one's bigger. You can't just say. You have to show. Or oh, here's my bubble, and in you'll go. Oh no. How do we show which shape is bigger? Agents, any ideas? Agent 99 here. You can put them close together so you can see which is bigger. Or even better, put one on top of the other. That sounds good. Six, we're sending you Brain Gain to help. Let's do it. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain always to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Sending brain game to show which sheet of paper is bigger. Sending brain game. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, we'll show which is bigger. If the red sheet is bigger, it will cover the blue one. It doesn't. But if I put the blue one on top, it does cover the red one. The blue is bigger, and we've shown it. Oh, all right then, I suppose so. But how about those, though? Oh. It's much harder to say which is bigger. Neither of them completely covers the other one. We can't show which is bigger. If you don't, I'll cause more trouble and you'll end up inside my bubble. <laughs> How can we show which is bigger? Any ideas? You need something to measure the shapes. What could measure those shapes? I wish I had my buddy tiles with me. Maybe you could use some other shapes from the display. Yes, I could use them like my buddy tiles. Lots of shapes, their size the same. OK then, Six, let's play the game. Yes, Puzzler. These shapes are all the same size. And I need... One, two, three tiles to cover the blue shape. Hmm. Now the red shape. One, two, three, 
four tiles to cover the red shape. So the red shape is bigger because it needs more tiles. Hooray! Well, my friend, I like your style, measuring with your same size tiles. But measuring these will wipe your smile. They're really hard to measure. You can do it, Six. OK, then. We need one, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. And one, two, three, four, five tiles to cover the blue shape. So the blue shape needs more tiles, so it's bigger. And we've shown it. Huh. That sorted you out, puzzler. A number who knows how to measure. Hmm, it almost gives the puzzler pleasure. You've shown the things you had to show. And now it's time for me to go. <laughs> Don't forget to put things back to normal, Six. Here's some brain game to help. <laughs> Come back now, Six. Checking the room. Six. Everyone helped. You showed that puzzler he can't beat the number jacks. And we've got it all on screen. The girl's bed cover was too small. And then it was too big. The teacher was covering the table, but it was too small. Then it was much too huge. It was that mean old puzzler making trouble. We showed which shape was bigger. The blue one covered the red one, so it was bigger. The yellow tiles measured those shapes. Three tiles for the blue shape. Four tiles for the red shape. Bigger. And those shapes. Four tiles cover the red shape. But five tiles needed to cover the blue one, so it was bigger. And that sorted the puzzler. Hooray! <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! Brilliant, Five. Buddy tiles are great for flying on. And even better for measuring, even if sometimes they try to measure the wrong things. <laughs> you can't measure me! I'm not flat enough! I'm not ticklish! <laughs> Why don't you do some measuring? Find something flat to measure and use cards or dominoes and see how many you need. Find out and call the number jacks. Oh, <laughs> 